Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'll be giving my top 10 predictions for the Ballon d'Or 2021. Obviously this evening in Paris, it is the 2021 Ballon d'Or where 32 footballers who have been nominated in the Ballon d'Or will be going to Paris and tonight around half seven or nine o'clock we will find out who has won this year's Ballon d'Or. Um, so I'm not I'm not going to do the whole 32 because I'm going to be here forever. So I'm just going to do the top 10. So yeah, let's get into this video. So we're going to go from 10th up to 1st. So starting with 10th place, in my opinion, in 10th, I have gone with Neymar Jr. of Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously, the Ballon d'Or is about the whole year. And for me, I think Neymar has had a good 2021 Obviously, with PSG and Brazil. Obviously, for Brazil, you know, qualification for next winter's World Cup. And uh, it's quite good um, for Neymar, to be honest, obviously, you know. Um, like what he's done for his club, Paris Saint-Germain, you know, he's scored some good goals. And uh, he's, I think he's just done well. And, you know, for me, I think it was between him and Lukaku for 10th, but... You know, I know Lukaku was scoring goals for Inter and Chelsea, but for me, I think Neymar's just one step above. So, yeah, for me, 10th place is Neymar Jr. All right, then. So, in 9th place, I'm going with Erling Haaland of Borussia Dortmund. And I'll see the Norwegian striker scoring goals for fun for Marco Rose's, his, Marco Rose's side, Borussia Dortmund. Obviously, he returned on the weekend and he scored... Um, in Dortmund's win away in away against Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. Obviously, Dortmund, they got a big game coming up um, in Derby Der Klassica against rivals Bayern Munich. So, let's see how Haaland does in that one. But, you know, Haaland, he's had a very good 2021. Obviously, Norway just missing out on the World Cup playoffs. And, uh, you know, he did really well for... He's done really well for Dortmund throughout 2021. Obviously, you know... I don't know why they came in the Bundesliga, but, you know, he's just scored a lot of goals. So, for, well, the question is, though, do you think I could have put Haaland higher? And also for the people down in the comments, who do you think's better, um, Haaland or Mbappe? I, for me, I'm going to go with Mbappe. You know, I think it's very close, but for me, I think it's Mbappe just. But, yeah, I'm mentioning Kylian Mbappe. Eighth place, I have gone with Kylian Mbappe. Obviously, he has been... He's had a very good... 2021 with France and Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously, since ever since Messi's arrived, I think he's improved a lot. Obviously, he was at Monaco in 2016, and just I think talking about Mbappe and looking at the rise that he's just that has happened to him, it's just quite sensational. And you know, helping France, you know, winning the Nations League. Obviously, you know. He has had a few ups and downs, obviously, with the Euros. You know, he missed his penalty that knocked out France with the Euros. Obviously, that was probably a devastating moment for him. But for me, he still had a good 2021. So, for me, Kylian Mbappe is in eighth place. All right, then. So, we're going to mention our first Premier League player in seventh place. I have gone with Manchester City and Belgian midfielder Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, yet again, another outstanding year for Kevin De Bruyne with Manchester City and Belgium. Obviously, for Belgium, you know, just missing out on winning the Nations League. And, you know, De Bruyne, he is the king of assists and he's done it again, yet again, in 2021. And let's hope we see it again in 2022. But for me, you know, De Bruyne, he's just had a fantastic year and, you know... Getting Belgium quite far in the Euros. I think they got to the quarters where they lost to Italy. But, you know, for Manchester City, he's done very well, obviously. Getting Manchester City to a Champions League final. I know they did lose that Champions League final to Chelsea. But still, he did, he was part of that Manchester City team that got to the Champions League final. And he's just an absolutely brilliant player. So, for me, Kevin De Bruyne is in seventh place. And staying with Manchester City in sixth place, I have gone with Riyad Mahrez. Obviously, I think Riyad Mahrez, he has had a really good 2021. And for me, you know, looking at Mahrez, he was at Leicester. 
you know, not much people, not much people did really talk about him at Leicester, but 2021 has been the year for Riaz Mahrez because he's been absolutely incredible, you know. He scored that goal against PSG in last season's Champions League semi-final, which sent Manchester City to the final of the Champions League. And he's just been really good, you know, with Algeria as well. Haven't really seen him much with Algeria, but for Man City, he's been very good with that attack. And for me, I think Mahrez 100% deserves to be in the top 10. And if he's not, Ballon d'Or is just, what are you doing? But yeah, um, all right then, so we now move on to the top five of this year's Ballon d'Or. So in fifth place, I'm going to... In fifth place, I have chosen French and Real Madrid striker Karim Benzema. Obviously, Benzema getting called up back into the French squad. And he has been unbelievable. It's been a fantastic 2021 for Karim Benzema. And, you know, he scored last night in Real Madrid's 2-1 win against Sevilla at the Bernabeu. Obviously, that goal by Vinicius Junior, by the way, was absolutely in- incredible. Um... If you didn't watch the game, it was absolutely brilliant goal. He literally went like that. I mean, it's just mugged off and defence went bang into the top, top corner. It's absolutely brilliant goal. But, you know, Benzema, you know, he scored that incredible goal against Spain in the Nations League final. I, I remember that goal. That goal was sensational. The way he just curved it into the top corner. It's just incredible. And what he's done for Real Madrid as well, you know. I know, they ju- I know they just missed out on La Liga, obviously. Neighbours, Atletico Madrid winning it. But still, he scored a lot of goals. And, uh, you know, so f- and obviously in the Champions League, I know they didn't really do too well. But still, Benzema, 2021, it's been a positive year for him. But, yeah. All right, then, so in fourth place, you could... This is quite... Um, yeah, but for me, in fourth place, I have gone with Robert Lewandowski. Now, you could say Lewandowski 100%, 100% should be in the top three. But for me, I think he's, I think he's just missed out. But I know he's Lewandowski, 2020, he was unbelievable. And yet again in 2021, Robert Lewandowski has been unbelievable, obviously, for Poland and Bayern Munich. Obviously, for Poland, he's been quite good. I know Poland played against some weird teams but you know the Euros it wasn't really for him but mainly for club for Bayern Munich he's been really good he has been really good and you know scoring lots of goals obviously winning Bayern Munich you know the Bundesliga another trophy and for me you know in my opinion I just think he'll just miss out but next year I think I think if he misses out on the top three, because I think the target for Lewandowski is to get into the top three of the Ballon d'Or. And I think I think if he misses out this year, he'll go for it. Even if he wins it, he could win it. Cause, but yeah. All right, then. So we now move on to the top three. And in third place, I have gone with Lionel Messi. Obviously, there has been a leaked list that Messi has won it. For us, for the seventh time, but for me, no, I don't think he really deserves to win it. Because, like, you know, he hasn't really done a lot. And, obviously, for Barcelona, you know, he, he wanted to leave and stuff. You know, the effort. For, for me, I just don't think Messi deserves to win it, in my opinion. I, I know I'm more, I know I, I am more a Ronaldo fan over Messi. But I know Messi... He has been a very good player, obviously. You know, with his obviously with with his new club PSG. You know, he scored that really good goal against Man City. Sorry, Cody, to remind you of that, but I can't lie. That was an unbelievable finish. Like the running man, you know, that pass to Mbappe, little knockback, and then that's just a first on finish. It was a really good goal uh, for Messi, but you know, I just. I just don't think it's been really the year for him, Messi. And for me, I think there are just two players. And you probably could... I think you know who they are. But I think there are two players that are just a step above. Alright, and so, second place, I am... Sorry about that. That was my mum giving me this. Giving me this. Obviously, Christmas coming up. But, yeah. Um, so, second place, I am going with Liverpool player Mohamed Salah. And, for me, Salah 2021 has been a... It's been incredible for him. You know... 
especially this season because he's been incredible. He's just been incredible. And uh, I watched Liverpool versus Manchester City at Anfield and the goal he scored was sensational. He literally mugged off like four or five Man City players. And like, how does he do that? Like, you know, I know it's just, it is sensational. And for me, I think he has a really good chance tonight, Salah, of winning the Ballon d'Or. I really think he has a big chance. And uh, if he's not in the top three, I think, again, I think he has been robbed. If he's not, though, he'll go again in 2022. But for me, Salah, I think he'll just miss out in second place. All right, then. So it is now time to find out who I think will win this year's Ballon d'Or. You could say it is a bit biased, but for me, I have gone with the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. For me, I know he want. I know he wanted to leave Juventus, but even though he wanted to leave Juventus, the effort for both uh, for effort the effort for both Juve and United has been impeccable. It's been incredible, you know. With his time in in Turin in Italy. It wasn't the best for him, but still, he really carried... Well, I wouldn't say carried, but he, you know... I, I, I saw something the other day when, obviously, Juventus played against Porto um, in the Champions League. Ronaldo was crying. I'm um, like, even though Juventus lost, he was... Even the half-time, he was like, he was like oh, come on, oh, we're playing really shit at the moment. But, you know, that's what I think... That's what I like about Ronaldo. Who, like, he, he encourages other players, um, like... And, you know, for Man United this season, I know United haven't been too great this season, you know, under Ole, but, you know, they got they got a good result yesterday against Chelsea. And the way he walked back in the tunnel, he didn't look too happy. But, you know, for me, you could say it's a bit biased, but I don't really care, in my opinion. For me, I just think Ronaldo, you know, he, I know, but I just think, I just think, you know, the efforts there, the goals he scored, I'm like, you know, when the other team won, it literally sprints back. I'm like, I, I can't, I, I don't see Messi doing that. And that's why I think Ronaldo is the GOAT. And for me, that's why I think Ronaldo will win the Ballon d'Or. Um, so, yeah, I'm just reminding my top 10. So, it is Neymar, Haaland, Mbappe, De Bruyne, Mares, Benzema, Lewandowski, Messi, Salah. And for me... I think Cristiano Ronaldo will win the Ballon d'Or 2021. And if that does happen, that means Messi and Ronaldo will be level on Ballon d'Ors. But yeah, um, I will be live tonight for the Ballon d'Or on my Twitch. Um, quarter past seven for the Ballon d'Or. Let me know down in the comments who is going to win the Ballon d'Or. And I'll see you for the next video. Come on, Ronaldo!